What's happening YouTube? It is old Chevy 4x4 and Clyde off in the background. Today guys, we're going to be making a little bit of uh, some beef stew in the Dutch oven. So, first things first, got a good fire going here. Got to burn down some coals. Pull some of these guys off to the side. And get our Dutch oven heating up. What we're using today is an 8-quart. All right, we got that Dutch oven heated up. I'm gonna add in a couple of tablespoons of bacon grease. Yeah, that's right, bacon grease, guys. You vegetarian types, well, I appreciate you watching and all, but this probably won't be the video for you. All right, and to that, I'm gonna add a couple of pounds of stew meat. It's been shaking in about, I don't know, a quarter to a third cup, somewhere around there, flour. Dump some seasoning on top of that. We got some steak seasoning, some black pepper. Toss it up real good. We're going to go ahead and dump this in here. And brown those pieces on all sides. All right, I've got a nice hot spot set up right over here. I'm going to give these guys one last stir. I will say this, I wish y'all could smell this. My gosh, it doesn't smell good. Move it over onto that real hot spot. I'm going to add in some beef broth. I got about a package and a half of this beef stew mix stuff. Tossed it in there with it. Got probably two cups of broth there, maybe, give or take. Then, I'm going to add in some, uh, some beer, some Killian's Irish Red this time. Not quite the whole bottle. Alrighty, we're starting to boil it right along, so what I'm going to do now is stir it one last time, move it back onto those cooler coals, cover it up. Alright, cover's on. I'm just redistributing some of the coals around the outside there. And we're going to let this sucker sit and simmer. Probably a half an hour or so. We'll see ya. Alright, so I broke off some coals, moved the Dutch oven over, stir this up a little bit. Now we're going to add in some vegetables. And some more beef broth. All right, so evidently I went a little heavy on the, uh, the vegetables. So what I did, guys, I told you earlier I had a package and a half of that uh, McCormick seasoning. I put the other half package in, mixed some hot water in with it. Now I use that to cover over the vegetables. That way everybody cooks nice and even. Now, cover it back up. Find a few more coals. Let that sucker go. What do you think? It smells awful good around here, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, so. As I said, we had the vegetables, we added in some more broth and some water to get everything all nice and covered up. Threw the cover on top of the Dutch oven, threw some coals on top of it. Now I'm going to let it simmer probably another hour or better to make sure those vegetables are nice and tender. All right, as you can see, I kicked the coals around just a little bit, dropped in a number 10 spider right there, and put some coals on the lid of that as well. I'm going to let that get heated up, and when it does, I'm going to drop in some bread. All right, let's see where we're at, shall we? Oh, oh, oh man, take just some butter, melt it all across the top of these guys. Holy cow, do they look good? Here it is, guys. Oh, moment of truth. 
Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, boy. Grab you a bowl, pull you up a chair. That's some good food right there, let me tell you. Man, oh man. Well, that's it, guys. I'm not going to even do any more than this with this video. At this point, I'm just going to get myself a big old bowl of this and grab a couple pieces of that bread and sit down and chow down. As always, I do appreciate each and every one of y'all watching the videos, checking out the channel, leaving the comments and all that good stuff. Please do me a favor. Stay safe. Stop back. Eat well. Thank you for watching.